Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and today we are going to talk about transitions, right? I know, probably not something you expected to talk about here. We're also going to talk about relationships. Isn't that crazy? I know, this is supposed to be an econ podcast, right? But we have a lot to talk about. There's so many different things to cover here, and so we want to make sure that we are staying on target. We have to look at our personal journey and see and check in and say, am I on the right path? Am I just going through the motions or am I doing and staying true to what I want to do and why I started this business in the first place? That always comes with a set of questions, hard questions, questions that most people don't want to answer questions that are difficult in the moment. But you have to ask yourself these questions every now and then. If you find yourself going through the motions, if you find yourself uncreative and feel like you're kind of dead in the water and you're doing all the same things, but it's not doing the same things for you, then you have to decide, is this where I'm supposed to be still? And if I am, why? What's wrong? What's broken? What's not working? So, you can be aware because once you're aware, then you can fix it. Then you can work on a new solution. But it has to start with being aware. And what is what are some things that we can do to be more aware of that? First of all, just ask the questions. Ask yourself, am I fulfilled in what I do? Make a list first, too, of pros and cons pros and cons. What do you like about your job, your business? What do you enjoy? Be specific. If you work with your hands, say you're a potter, you know, if that's your profession. I know I'm just picking something random here, I know, but like, it's just like, oh, I love the feel of the clay through my fingers. I love to feel how it molds together and starts to dry as it spins and dry. I have no idea what I'm talking about here, you guys. The whole point is you can be descriptive. Use words that express how you feel. Now, remember, I love these exercises. Why? Because no one's looking at your paper and no one's asking you to turn this stuff in. So you can be as upfront and honest with yourself as you want to be because no one's checking. Look, it only hurts you to lie to yourself. So you might as well come clean and start writing stuff down. Why did I begin this journey? Why did I start this to begin with? What was my reason, my purpose? Was something going wrong in your job? You find yourself broke and looking for extra money? Did you, you just need a change? You heard that working online is that? Maybe you're sick of a commute. Maybe you hate your job. Maybe it doesn't pay enough. Maybe you thought this was a pie in the sky, kind of a get rich quick. Like, name your reason, whatever it was for you to choose this. And then look at about how long ago was that? Your why then doesn't have to be your why now. So check in. What's your why now? Because this is going to get hard. Anything worth having isn't easy. So it's going to get hard. And when business gets hard, your why is the only thing, the only anchor that holds. It's the only anchor that holds. Why I'm doing this is worth the work. It's worth the effort. It's worth the frustration. Those things have to match. They have to match. And if they don't, it's time to pull up the anchor. Maybe. Maybe it's time to reevaluate. What don't I like about my business anymore? What are the things? Are those things outsourceable? If you got those things off your plate, how would you feel? How would you feel? The things that you don't like about your business, despise, detest, hate, just say it. 
if those things were off your plate, would you still want to do what you're doing? Does the anchor hold? And if it does, then you just found a solution to your problem. Oh, if I could only stop doing prep, I could do more creation and research. And that's the part I love. So you outsource your prep and therefore outsource your bottleneck and your stress point and bring yourself back to the center of creativity, which is very difficult to operate creativity from a place of stress and overwhelm. So if that's all that you're feeling right now in your business, it's time to check in. It's time to check in. It's time to check in. Yeah. So that's also something if you haven't done in a while, if you guys don't have my book, Dream Big, Step Small, in chapter three, it tells you to do this exercise called In a Perfect World. No, I know there's no such thing as a perfect world, is there? No, but if you could create one of your own, one that sounds ideal and a perfect fit for you, it gives you some questions to explore, to decide what what is it for you? What is that perfect world for you? Because there's some good news. You can actually get closer and closer to that one step at a time. That's what my book's all about. Dream big, step small. Step really, really small and intentional and with purpose. And the purpose you find is in chapter three, when you do your inner perfect world and you realize this is what I really want. When I just let myself be free to fantasize about whatever it is that I want from life and business and relationship and anything. That's what, that's what that is. So you create that. And again, like I said earlier, no one's looking at your paper. So you can really, this is your world. You don't have, you can be very private about it. You don't have to share it with anybody. This is your, your dream, your desire, your goal. And it's not for anybody to judge. It's not for you to judge either. Don't put judgment on your own self for that, for wanting what you want. So many people do that to themselves. They stunt their own growth because someone in their life, maybe even self-sabotage has said, you're not worthy of this. You don't deserve this. This is greedy. Why do you need more? Why do you want this? Why do you want that? And people question and judge your, your motives and your reasoning when really, it's nunya, right? Nunya is my favorite word for none of your business. None of your business. Do y'all know that actually that is in the Bible? I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a Christian. I'm a God girl. Um, and I, I just recently saw that in a different new translation. I mean, in the King James, it says, mind your own affairs. But like mind your own business and none of your business means mind your own affairs. Everybody else's stuff is none of your business and theirs is none of yours. I found that very helpful, to be honest. You know why? Because we don't have the capacity to worry and conquer and fixate on everybody else's stuff and stuff we can't control. We got enough trouble of our own, right? In our own mind and our own heart, right? So don't judge anyone for what they want and need and whatever. You just look inward. So if I tell you no one's judging you, I'm saying no one should judge you. Maybe there are people that do and that's none of your business. It really isn't. If they have judgments against you, they can keep them to themselves. And if they don't, be like, oh, I'm sorry, that's none of my business. Your opinion? Not my business. Not my concern. God says I need to focus on me because that's all I can control. Right? So that's what we're going to do. And when you look at that, this is your inner perfect world. So you can create that however you want to. And once you do that, look at your current life and ask yourself, how close am I right now 
to this, this in a perfect world. A lot of us, if we're honest, are saying pretty far. You know, it depends on where you are in life. Someone's just starting. Someone's just finishing. You know, you could be way closer to your in a perfect world than you realize. But that's getting your hands dirty in your own heart and your own mind and what your own desires are. You got to be real with yourself and dig that, dig that out. And not put adjustments on, adjust, adjustments on it. I know I talk about that in the book too, about overcoming limiting beliefs or, you know, that's like the, the language for it. But I'm just like, flip the script, change it. You know, you don't have to subscribe to stuff your parents did if you don't want to. If you have learned better, do better. And something that I was always taught was like having a lot was just greedy. And there's so much better you can do with money than have a yacht or have, you know, all these extensive vacations or fancy jewelry and stuff doesn't, doesn't bring happiness. And that is very true. And I've learned that in life, you know, stuff doesn't bring happiness. Um, but with that came a sense of shame for having too much money or having too much stuff. It's like, oh, you should always give it all away. Well, yeah, that's generosity. And we are called to be generous. But that doesn't mean at our own detriment it doesn't mean that you're greedy because you have been blessed or you've worked hard and the wage the worker is wait do his wage the worker is do his wage so there's no guilt or shame in that you're called to be good stewards of what we have and what we've been given but not to feel guilt or shame for having or having an abundance So once you build your inner perfect world, it's time to fill the gap because you know there's a gap between where you are and where you're going to go and where you want to go. And filling the gap is the business or the job that you're doing now filling that gap for you. If it's not, it's time for a change. Something. Maybe you're going to outsource something. Maybe you're going to change businesses. Maybe you're going to really just take a good long look at something and have someone else do that as well. Yeah. But that's okay. Giving yourself permission to reevaluate. No matter what anyone else wants to say or do. Yeah, there's going to be people who are going to be like, oh my gosh. You started another business that you're going to close again or that you're just going to leave off or you're going to, you love to stop and start, start and stop. Maybe that's your pattern. Remember, none of their business. But you need to look inward and say, why? What is it that I really want? And maybe all of these businesses I've done are not fulfilling that for me. What is it that would bring me the fulfillment that I am looking for? And that, my friend, is something you need to discover. And I can help you with that. If you want to book a session and we want to talk about this, we absolutely can talk about it and say, are you aligning with what you really want inside? Are you aligning with what you really want inside? Or are you just going through the motions because this is what you've been doing and maybe it's kind of sort of working and it's okay or, you know, you don't want to feel like a quitter or you don't want to feel like you're giving up or whatever else or you've changed and pivoted so many times. This is just another, you know, nail in the coffin. It's okay. We can talk about that. And we can get you on the track that you're supposed to be on. Because if there's something that's not aligning, it might be time to change the path. Y'all, I know you can be anywhere else doing any other thing. I don't take that for granted. I didn't want this to be super long today. I just want it to be really contemplative because not enough people are talking about these types of things in business specifically. So just give yourself permission to reevaluate. Give yourself permission to say, yes, I am still aligned with what I want to do and I'm still excited and I really like this, but... I'm frustrated and I need help in this area or that area. Just let that sink in for a bit. And then if you need help, reach out. You can always get me at admin at mommyincome.com. You can comment, you can send me a DM. I'm here for you. Thank you for listening to the Amazon Files podcast.